Hey my friends, what's going on? Welcome back to another FC Mobile video guys and today I am gonna be helping you guys with everything you need to know about head-to-head -head gameplay in FC Mobile. So this video is going to be a head-to-head -head encyclopedia where the topics of discussions are gonna be yeah, I mean, I have written everything out in this copy, guys. Okay, don't look at that. Uh, skill moves, uh, that is the top four skill moves in FC Mobile right now. The combinations of the top four skill moves that will help you win matches. We have the best formations that we can use for head-to-head -head matches, guys. We have obviously training and rank ups. And we're going to be showing how to actually properly do the trainings and rank ups here. And we have player selections, that is which position which type of player we need to use and we have the basics of defending, passing and shooting. At the end, we are going to be talking about the mentality and the tactical aspects that is eventually dependent on a particular formation and then at the end we have the conclusion. So there are there might be certain things in this video that will probably go over your head. So make sure you watch this video again if you don't understand another part guys. And honestly, I am here to help you guys out. If you need any help regarding anything guys other than squad upgrades like in terms of skills, packs, best packs to open, anything guys, anything, you can join my discord server or you can eventually you know comment below this video, below any video guys, I will try to read as many comments as possible and try to get back to you and if possible probably make a video. So I'm here for you guys and now let's go on to the details and by the way pro players who think themselves gods of head to head, this video has basic stuffs and also pro level stuffs as well. So it's a combination. So guys, coming to the top four best skill moves that you can use in FC Mobile while playing a head to head or an artificial intelligence match are number one, lane change, number two, open up fake shot, number three, step over, and number four, hill to hill. So these are the four best skill moves in FC Mobile, guys. And if you take a look at my FC Mobile account, this is how I have allotted my four skill moves, guys. And obviously we have that natural fake shot. So on the left side, I have open up fake shot. On the top, we have lane change. On the side, we have hill to hill. And on down, we have step over. You can select these skill moves. You can place these skill moves according to your own preference. References. and the thinking well lane change is a skill move that will help you get some fouls from your opponent uh, if done well you will be able to dribble past your defenders with it like avoid those tackles hill to wheel and step over are skill moves that are gonna be stunning defenders guys step over actually helps you increase uh, the speed when a player is actually making a run and, and it is uh, one of the best uh, you know overpowered skill moves in FC Mobile at present situation and hill to wheel has always been really really OP all the P2P cards like all the higher of your cards like uh, Mbappe, Henry, Gareth Bale has really outstanding hill to hill stunning ability that literally you know freezes the defense which is a bit unrealistic but it is true and open up fake shot is also one skill move that you can use to avoid defenders now coming to the formations guys honestly one thing that I believe dearly is that you can be a pro in FC Mobile if you play consistently with a particular formation for a long period of time no matter what formation you use with proper player selections you can play outstandingly well with each and every formations but keep in mind with proper player selection and guys some of the other formations that you guys can use while playing head to head guys are 4 1 2 1 2 wide narrow both 4 2 3 1 wide narrow both 4 2 2 2 guys 4 4 2 holding you can even try 4 3 3 false 9 guys if you are a big fan of a center forward but i will usually suggest you to play a striker in that center forward position maybe someone like Cruyff. But guys, if you are a beginner, if you have just started playing head to head guys, these are the few formations that you guys can definitely try out if you want to be a pro in head to head guys. And once you have mastered all these formations, you can definitely experiment out with other formations like my bad 5 for one formation which you should definitely not try. Now after being done with the formations guys, we are going to be coming to the player selections. So we are going to be taking 4 through 3 holding as an example while trying to cover the player selection part here guys. Perfect player for each position. Well guys, in this kind of situations where we have to take a look at the player selections, it totally depends on a particular formation and as a basic step guys, we are going to be taking a look into the 4 through 3 holding because this is eventually the formation that is one of the most used formations in game and a formation that unlocks early in game as well. 
So here in this formation, we have four defenders, two side backs, two center backs, one goalkeeper, one defensive midfielder, two center midfielders, right winger, striker, and a left winger, guys. And we're gonna start off with the attack. At left wing, we have Kylian Mbappe. And even though I have Rivaldo in the bench, I am still starting off with Mbappe simply because he has a stronger right foot. Well guys, if you take a look at Mbappe's FC Mobile head-to-head -head gameplay, he usually takes most of his goal scoring shots with his right foot guys. That is eventually what the left wingers are supposed to do, cut in and take a shot with his right foot. On the other hand guys, if you take a look at the right winger of my team, I have gone with Lamin Yamal. Similarly guys, for a right winger here, we have Lamin Yamal who has a stronger left foot. That is eventually his goal scoring shot. That is eventually his goal scoring foot guys. A left winger guys mostly uses his right foot to score goals and a right winger mostly uses his left foot to score goals. So it is preferable to play a left winger with a stronger right foot and a right winger with a stronger left foot. And for that reason, even though Rivaldo has better dribbling and speed than Mbappe, he's out in the bench because of his stronger left foot. He is probably gonna be preferable as a right winger rather than a left winger. And guys, on the center, we have two striking options, guys. One is obviously Eusebio and the other one is Marco Van Basten. Both of them has minimum four-star skill moves and five-star weak foot and some really good stats as well. Well, guys, it is not compulsory to use only five-star weak foot players in your uh, FC Mobile head-to-head -head team. You can eventually use players like Fernando Torres and Kolumu and Munai, uh, whatever his name is, guys. They also have a four-star weak foot, guys. But the thing is, with training, the higher the training, the weak foot effect disappears, guys. Fernando Torres, minimum 20 to 25, does not have any weak foot problem. On the other hand, guys, coming to the midfielders here, we have Mascherano as a defensive midfielder that plays a very important role. Well, at this stage, the best defensive midfielder is obviously gonna be Rodri. But we are using Mascherano because we cannot afford him. Similar situation to some of you guys. Well, due to his low attacking work rate and high defending work rate, Mascherano stays in the defensive position, trying to provide protection to the defense and makes the defense more stable. On the other hand, guys, we have one defensive-minded center midfielder in Patrick Vieira and another attacking minded center midfielder in place of Vanaken here. Vanaken also has 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves and is an attacking midfielder with alternate position. This is how a perfect midfield looks like in 4 3 3 holding. Well, I can eventually swap uh, the positions of Vanaken and Patrick Vieira because Patrick Vieira has a stronger right foot and Vanaken has a 5 star weak foot that will eventually help them in goal scoring if needed. Coming to the defense, guys, we have Canavaro and Luis Redang. Well, Canavaro is short heighted but he's still really, really amazing. And these special traits come in really, really handy, guys. Especially the dives into tackle and leadership and solid player. On the other hand, guys, if you take a look at Luis Dunk here, he has long pusher, dives into tackle, power header, and powerful driven free kick. These are some of the best special traits to have for a center back, especially dives into tackle and power header. And this is why he is my starting center back. Well, guys, when it comes to center backs, we need to get good center backs so that they does not get stunned. And I know most of you guys probably do auto defending, so players will definitely get stunned during auto defending. I suggest you guys semi auto defending just to have little control over your defenders. And on the side backs, guys, we I prefer to have medium attacking work rate and high defending work rate. Obviously, some one like Nathan Ake here but that does not stop him from overlapping. The only reason I play 5 for one is because the side backs never stay in position. And the same goes for Kyle Walker as well. So guys that was the basics of player selection and eventually guys I have, I have mentioned a couple of formations here. There are more formations that we have to go into details uh, you know when we are doing a particular formation masterclass. Guys, now coming to the rank ups and the training part. If you are a head to head player, guys, rank ups and trainings play a very, very important role. And the only reason is that, guys, this is the stats of a 30 trained, 5 ranked, 108 over your stam, guys, 164 defending, 151 physical, and 115 pace. On the other hand, guys, this is an untrained, unranked, untradable stam, guys. Only 112 defending, 112 physical, and 94 pace, guys. So with rank ups and trainings, stats of a particular player gets increased, and that helps in our division rivals gameplay. So in the current FC Mobile head-to-head -head situation right now, guys, training plays a much more important role than over. Well, guys, you all know that uh, ranking up is obviously possible with Dudex, Duplicates, and Masteranos. 
so there is nothing to teach in that guys but i'm gonna be teaching you guys uh like cheaper way but a little bit like it will it will take a little bit more duration but it will it will definitely be a cheaper way of upgrading of training your players for head to head matches so here guys we are going to be training canavaro and uh, we are going to be obviously using fodders guys as you can see we have some jones player items here that we are going to be using as a as a training here guys but before coming to that guys let's actually rank up one of the jones cards so guys we don't have any dudex to rank up the 63 ovr player item but we have these duplicates and guys now we have managed to rank him up to level 1 as of now skill points now here guys if you take a look at the xps of the player 120 xps 120 xps for each 63 ovr player guys so if we use two jones cards here the total amount of xp is that anavar is going to gain is 240 if we had 120 plus 120 but on the other hand we have used two player items two jones player items to rank up this particular player item and look at the xp he is giving 360 that is 120 more than these two jones cards combined Usually, guys, this is a bit more hardworking method. You know, people, you know, whoever does this are obviously going to be called rats and stuffs. But it's a time-consuming method, but it's an effective method. If you are a F to P, you have to be hardworking, man. And that is one way of training the players at the cheapest cost. And now, guys, we are going to be coming into the gameplay part here. We are going to be coming on. We are going to be starting off. with the goalkeepers well we don't have much control over the goalkeepers in fc mobile we can do goalkeeper rush we can cancel goalkeeper rush we can obviously say penalties and that is what it is limited with goalkeepers guys passing ranges and stuffs so let's go into the goalkeeping details Well, if you use goalkeeper as stupidly, you are definitely gonna concede some goals. Uh, sometimes I just do up, down, up, down, uh, just to like confuse the defenders, especially in those one v one situations. And if the opponent is trying to chip the ball, uh, those one why you not know, up, down, goalkeeper as off, goalkeeper as on actually comes into play. Other than that, if you are actually trying to take a look at the goal kicking, like goalkeeper kicking, guys, uh, you know sometimes the opponent marks each of my defenders. In that situation, instead of trying to play short, guys, just kick the ball up in the air uh, you know it's better to defend than to like concede a stupid goal by giving a miss pass uh, with your goalkeeper but uh, usually goalkeepers give accurate passes uh, so we can you know if we are confident that we will be able to complete a particular pass you know go for it now guys we are going to be coming to the defending part So guys in defending we have uh, like uh, you know we have to defend those corners we have slide tackles standing tackles hard tackles and we also have the marking as well and we are going to be covering all these things in details so guys here my opponent is trying to pass the ball that is a hill to hill and okay that was a slide tackle guys we are not going to be losing our calm we are going to pass the ball back Shit, that was a bad okay again another slide tackle guys okay, that was that was not a very good uh, show of defending here guys Now we are going to be trying to predict my opponent's passes well that was a good pass he's probably going to do another open up okay he is looking for support and that is a block guys we have managed to block his passes now we are going to be on a counter here you should be probably not a goal scoring guy uh, yeah now guys here mo sala's options are probably he's going to be trying to beat nathan ake with sprint then he's going to pass probably yeah just like that and then he passed the ball rodri He is gonna get tackled by the defensive midfielder. As I was talking about the protection, guys, the protection that is important for a defensive, like for uh, that that is provided by a defensive midfielder. Good, yeah, like I like that. Again, guys, same thing. We are gonna do a hard tackle, and now we are back with the ball. Okay, another hill to hill. This time, Kyle Walker gets stunned, and we are like following Kyle Walker. and then we have managed to tackle the ball again and the corner comes in vanaken is a very tall guy but the pass we have dragged vanaken behind and now we have managed to then again another situation he does a step over trying to cut in he passes the ball intercepted by luis dunk or oh, that is poor defending 
I mean, uh, the FC Mobile's gameplay sometimes can be rigged. Well, I mean, in this gameplay, guys, I'm, I'm like showing you guys how to defend. So I'm obviously not focusing much on the attacking part. Again, Kyle Walker under pressure from the winger. And look at the tackle. Well, uh, we do have the ball now. And the pass. Again, Cruyff up against. This time, Kyle Walker. Hey, he somehow manages to get past. Now the cross comes in. Luis dunk. And that is gonna be a goal. Okay, I mean, if we take a look at this goal, guys. You will see that Canavaro actually left his center back position to try and support. To try and support Kyle Walker because he has done one mistimed hard challenge. And that is why we consider this goal. Look here, guys. I'm gonna allow uh, allow him to run. Okay, he has passed the ball. This time it's a you know standing tackle from Canavaro. Again, another situation here. Again, uh, we just waited and the defender automatically just tackled the ball. In FC Mobile, guys, we have seven types of passes, namely the normal pass, we have lob pass, we have through pass, we have lob through pass, guys, we have ground driven pass, we have lob driven pass, and we have the dinked pass. So let's find out how to do these passes. So guys, this is an example of a normal pass, guys. This is an example of a ground driven pass. This is an example of a lob driven pass, guys. This is an example of a lob pass. This is an example of a through pass. This is an example of a lob through pass. And this is an example of a dinked pass. And coming to the shooting part guys, we have finish shot and power shot. That is mostly it guys. We also have straight shots that, you know, very few people use. And usually guys, I would prefer to take a shot with a particular player's stronger foot guys. Suppose say Eusebi, okay, he has 5 star weak foot, so that doesn't matter. So for example, Lamin Yamal, I will prefer to take a shot with his left foot, that is the stronger foot. And also for Mbappe guys, I will prefer to take a shot with his right foot. We have to make sure that a particular player is taking a shot with his, uh, you know, stronger foot to make sure that he's accurately putting the ball in the back of the net, guys. And these days, there are loads of people spamming power shots. Uh, they do work sometimes, like, uh, you know, all of a sudden you have considered a goal because the op opponent has scored a power shot. So that definitely comes into play. And also, guys, always try to make space before taking a shot or else against difficult opponents, they will not give you space, guys. You have to create yourself a space. You have to use your skill moves, uh, joysticks to make sure your opponent you know creates to, to, to create a gap between the opponent's defense so that you get enough time to take a shot that is also a very very important aspect of shooting guys or else you're gonna get blocked and now coming to the mentality part guys always make sure you take a break guys because a fresh mind is very very important if you want to win a head to head match suppose you are losing a head to head match we usually search for that one last win before we stop playing the game but that never happens if we have lost two matches straight restart the game swipe right restart the game start with a fresh mind you know maybe study a little bit then come back again later that small break is gonna help you guys a lot and you know if you are struggling uh, to, to pass the ball or to shoot the ball I mean if you are getting blocked these are the situations where you need to stop you need to play a couple of ai matches or a couple of unranked matches just to get back your confidence just to you know vision the vision is important if i'm passing the ball what will be my next move that you know thinking that is gonna be very very important guys and obviously skills and temperament are gonna be coming into play do not rush you have considered a goal no problem you just need a draw you know a draw in fc mobile division rivals green is a win because once you lose a match you lose cups a draw makes it even so guys that is going to be the end of the video we are going to be going into more details if we talk about a particular formation that we are going to be doing in the next part if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to click on that subscribe button make sure you like this video and don't forget to share this video with your noob friends <laughs> uh, i mean i think this video is going to help you guys a lot eventually my goal why i started youtube was to help you guys